Hey everyone, Pavel here. I am a solution architect with the Vertica field engineering team. And today we're going to talk about Vertica Game Changers. 10 features that make Vertica stand out from the pack. Vertica is a unique product. Our true value lies in our ability to do what nobody else can do. This is usually because of a combination of features that can only be found together in Vertica. And it's not often that people make choices because of just one single thing. However, today, I would like to show you 10 features, every one of which, alone, has been a game changer for some of our users, and that could be a game changer for you as well. Number 1. Query Optimized Storage Columnar storage architecture lies at the heart of Vertica. In fact, Vertica was the first database, back when it was presented as an academic paper and called C-Store, that combined columnar storage and massively parallel processing. This was the foundation, introduced in 2005, six years before Hadoop was a thing, that all of our functionality has been built upon since then. Here's the short version of how it works, explained for both SQL experts and Hadoop experts. In Vertica, a table is a logical thing, and a projection is a physical thing. A projection is literally a set of sorted and compressed columnar files on disk. For the SQL folks out there, a projection is similar to a cluster column index, except this is the only thing we store for at the table. There are actually more differences, but think of it as only storing indices for now. A projection is defined similar to a materialized view as a select. Create projection as select A, B, and C from sales order by A. Create projection as select B, A, and C from sales order by B and A. Create projection as select C and A from sales order by C. There are more options you can specify than just columns and sort order, but these are the minimum required. The difference is, you don't have to refresh the view, you don't have to update the indexes. When you insert into a table, data is loaded directly into projections all at once. Then at query time, the best projection to answer the query is chosen automatically by the optimizer. If you are familiar with Hive, you probably realize by now that projections are a lot like Hive tables. Think of it as having multiple Hive tables behind a virtual table, so that you can get merge joins and pipeline aggregation on different kinds of queries. Except it's all supported natively and it actually works because of that. Number 2. Automatic Database Design The rules for optimal compression, sorting and distributing projections are in most cases straightforward, and can be directly derived from the queries. So why spend time doing it manually? Projections can be created automatically by a special tool called the Database Designer. Think of it as a tool that would automatically suggest indexes for you in a row store based on your workload. For example, my typical workflow as a sales engineer doing a proof of concept is to receive a backup of our Oracle or Microsoft database, along with some queries whose performance I need to benchmark, and I usually have to do it all under one week in order to keep the backlog from building up. So what I do is convert the create table statements to the Vertica SQL dialect using an automatic converter, load some data from the source database into Vertica, and prepare the sample queries that I need to optimize for. Then I feed all that into the database designer which generates a physical design, all of the create projection statements. The data is optimally compressed, and the sample queries run fast. Later, it can be run incrementally when the workload changes. Now the database designer does a good job for a start, I give it a B plus or an A minus in most cases. Obviously, once you know the ins and outs of encoding, compression, query execution plans, and so on, you can always optimize further manually. Number 3. Near Real-Time Analytics in a Column Store Columnar storage formats, such as those used in Hadoop, Orc, and Parquet, are great for reading data in bulk and crunching numbers on it. In fact, Vertica's native columnar file format is literally called ROS, or Read Optimized Store. But what if you need to write data, insert a few rows or update something, or stream data in real time and immediately query it? This has never been an issue with row stores such as Postgres and Oracle, which are initially optimized for writing in updates. However, when you store by row, you are forced to use crutches such as indexes to work around the re-performance issues. So, for reading, the best option is a column store, and for writing, 
The best option is either a row store or an in-memory store. This is why Vertica has a hybrid storage architecture. We have a disk-based columnar read-optimized store, and we have an in-memory write-optimized store, which is the default target for any inserts and updates. This allows Vertica to support near real-time querying, since the sole purpose of the WAS is to accept an insert or update of a few rows and signal that the transaction is done, so data is available for querying after just a few milliseconds. Data from memory and disk are then united at query time. Then, at some point, usually after a few minutes, data is flushed to disk in the background, forming a newly sorted and compressed storage container. Then, again in the background, the storage containers are merged. You can also write data directly to disk if you're batch loading and don't want to waste memory on it. This is a game changer because any other option to do real-time analytics at this scale would involve duct taping together a makeshift hybrid architecture out of multiple products. There are plenty of blogs out there explaining how to juggle Hive Delta files or use Kafka SQL and then join it with Hive queries. It's all really complicated. Vertica's approach just works. Insert, update, commit, select, goodbye. It's sensible. It involves less people doing less work, and it all comes out of the box, and more importantly, out of one box, with first-class enterprise support. We have customers who are loading multiple terabytes per hour and running complex analytics with sub-second SLAs to respond to the new data in real time. Number four, automatic data marts. Joins are a performance killer. Sure, you have things like merge joins and column stores which make things a lot better, but at the end of the day, you are still reading data from several different places and, well, joining it all together. This takes time, and it needs to be done on every query. This is why data marts have long been the go-to choice for representing data that needs to be queried frequently. However, data marts need to be refreshed when the data changes. This can involve a lot of wasteful computation, unless you only refresh the parts that have changed, and there are other issues and considerations with that, and so on. Point is, it's not trivial. Vertica has had a killer feature for a few years now that makes most data mart scenarios really simple. The feature is this. You can add a calculated column to a table that can look up a value from another table. Or you can use any other expression, really, with or without joins. Anything that returns either one value per row or nothing is fine. If your data mart is, for the sake of simplicity, a fact table with a column looked up from a dimension table, you can add a column which selects a value from that dimension table. You insert new data into the fact table, new values are populated automatically. Dimension table updated, refresh a single column. It's blazingly fast because, you know, column store. Updating a couple of keys in the fact table, refresh one column from just the last day, or however your data is partitioned. Even faster. Also, as a bonus, it's free. Since data in the calculated column is not independent, it doesn't count towards license capacity. You only pay for the fact portion of such data marts. In fact, just two days ago, I recommended this technique to a customer, and 24 hours later, they reduced the license footprint of their data marts by 70%. Number five, pre-aggregation for cubes. While we're on the subject of data marts, consider this. You're getting terabytes of rows per day on the detail level, but your analysts run their queries only at the hour level. So what do you do? Do you give up and have your guys wait while gigabytes of data are read from disk and redundantly aggregated for every query? Do you create a separate table with aggregated data and update it with complex logic? Do you put an OLAP engine in front of your database, which will aggregate your data, adding to the cost and complexity of the hardware? No! You add a projection to the table, which groups by all the predicates you need and aggregates all the metrics you need. This so-called live aggregate projection is then refreshed, along with all other projections, live on every commit. Now you don't need to increase complexity of your logic or the cost of hardware and additional software, which will do in-memory aggregations for you. It all comes out of the box, and more importantly, out of one box. Number six, freedom from underlying storage. Vertica is known for being infrastructure agnostic. We routinely go up against locked down vendor branded boxes full of FPGAs, GPUs, terabytes of RAM and InfiniBand. 
and we ripped them to shreds using Ethernet connected no name servers with spinning disks. Did you know though, that we can even have different partitions of a single table stored in different places? You can put the last month on local disks and dump the rest onto slower storage like SAN or into HDFS. I'm not even talking about working with native Hadoop files now, which is further down the list, or Ianmo, which is so insane it deserves a separate video. Flexibility is key to accomplishing bold objectives, and this is just one of many examples. Number 7. All you need for IoT in Clickstream. In Vertica's early days, providing full OLAP function compatibility was enough to meet the most challenging customer demands. Recently, more and more companies need to get actionable insights in real time, and new trends such as predictive maintenance and the Internet of Things in general are pushing the limits of analytical tools. Vertica has always been ahead of the game here, with us now providing full support for OLAP extensions for geospatial time series and most recently, machine learning. Let's just consider time series though. So you have two sensors which are giving readings that are not synchronized. How do you combine them? Well, you just interpolate the values and join two tables on mismatched timecodes. You can also normalize intervals in the time series data, which you will definitely need to do a lot if you want your sensor data to make any sense at all. Again, one built-in SQL clause. No monstrous spaghetti code, nothing like that. Or let's talk about CEP or complex event processing. So you need to catch a sequence of events happening over the course of several hours? No problem. Define individual events as conditions on a row as A, B, and C, and look for a regular expression containing A, B, and C. Customer enters your site, views your site, makes a purchase, does something else. Define that entire chain of clicks, however complicated it is, the whole sequence as a single user session, and find all the times where it happened. Speaking of sessions, sessionize your data without using performance bottlenecking sequences. Or fill gaps in your data, because sensors are always unreliable. You don't need to write custom code or to install a dedicated time series database for any of this. It all comes out of the box, and it comes out of one box. Number 8. End-to-end -end machine learning workflow support. People have stored years of data, not throwing it away ever since Google showed them that this is a smart thing to do. Now is the time to finally monetize that dark data. But ML is a fragmented landscape and the average data scientist is half the age of the average senior DBA. So how do you bridge this gap? Well, you just need a single platform that gives you all you need for monetizing your data with machine learning. 80% of the time, data scientists don't develop machine learning algorithms. They collect and prepare the data. Getting a mess of source data ready for machine learning is an insanely difficult task. And we have all the required tools built in and working on a petabyte scale. Outlier detection, missing value imputation, normalization, one hot encoding, whatever. All built in and ready to go, massively parallel processing mode. We also bridge the generation gap. Your data scientists want to work in Python, let them. Native Python client, native Python libraries, native Python API for user-defined functions, including machine learning algorithms. Your analysts want to try their hand at machine learning, but they want to do everything in SQL. No problem, everything is natively SQL. It is a SQL database. You want to connect to Spark with no bottlenecks in a distributed fashion? You want to write algorithms in R and execute them distributed on the cluster? We have it all. No additional hardware, no additional software, no custom code. It all comes out of the box, and it all comes out of one box. Number 9. Native JSON, log formats, ORC, and Parquet support. Vertica is not only infrastructure agnostic, it's not only storage agnostic, it's also format agnostic to a large extent. You want to parse log files with regex? You don't need Splunk for that, we do it better and faster with flex tables. You want to map JSON to a relational structure, or run analytics, anything that I've already mentioned so far, on JSON directly? You don't need Mongo, we do it better and faster with flex tables. You want to collect CSVs from equipment logs, but the column order changes with every firmware update? Flex tables, literally one statement, and you're now loading based on column names instead of column order. You want to work with Parquet and Orc faster than any Hadoop-based solution? Or maybe you just happen to have some Parquet files lying around without a Hadoop cluster at all? 
Our native parquet and orc parsers are lightning fast, written in C, and don't care if your data is even in Hadoop. You want to do all of that without importing any of that data into your database? Knock yourself out. External tables allow you to do this stuff while scanning data on the fly. It will be faster if you load it though. Again, no added hardware, no added software, no custom code. All out of the box, all out of one box. Number 10. Flexible architecture suits nearly any analytical project. It's true. Most of my customers that started out a few years ago by just copying prepared data marts overnight from Oracle or Microsoft to speed up their data warehouses are now doing things that they never thought were possible. Heck, things that I never thought were possible back then. They do it on any infrastructure, from a rack of physical servers to a cloud service collection with data in S3. They load data any way they want, from overnight loading to near real-time streaming. They prepare it however they want, from in-database transformations to streaming transformation in Spark with an MPP link to Vertica. And they store their data however they want, from fully denormalized flattened tables to the sixth normal form. All that thanks to the flexibility they have. You know how I've been going round and round like a broken record saying out of the box, out of one box? That's actually not quite correct. Because it's not a box, there is no box. Vertica is pure software that works on all popular Linux flavors and most importantly, it's free. We have a fully featured community edition, which is free for up to one terabyte of data or three terabytes of Hadoop data. We let anyone download Vertica for free from our website and we are present in all major cloud marketplaces. That means that there is a massive user community out there present in the world's top companies, on college campuses, and on sites such as Stack Overflow. And although Vertica source code is closed, many of our customers are on the record saying that Vertica feels more open and flexible than any open source solution they know of. So do jump in and feel free to reach out directly to me or to whoever showed you this video or just ask questions on our forum or on Stack Overflow. As a final thought, I would like to say that I am not the only person behind this video. Our community of field engineers is a worldwide network of passionate experts whose job is not to sell you anything or even to make you fall in love with Vertica, although we all have. Our job is to do whatever we can to help you succeed. We are always there for you. We are ready to help and guide you throughout your journey should you decide to take it and make sure that no matter what your ideas are or how ambitious they are, that you can always make them a reality. Thank you.